Yo, what's up guys? Kings of Games back with another Honkai Star Road tier list. This time we are covering the standard 5 stars. With the new standard PT selector, this guide is for you to reference and choose. Firstly, my girl Bronya Onechan skill provides this spell, advance the turn of one ally and increase damage. If she's built with speed, your main DPS will be able to repeatedly have a turn. You can even use it on your healer when you need the heals. Really versatile and overpowered. Not to mention her ultimate buffs the entire team attack by 72% and crit damage for 2 turns. She's also a win type which helps diversify your elements. I rate her a double S. Next we have Yan Qing. This dude does crazy damage and is so easy to build. His skill activates Empathetic Sword Link which gives him a D taunt, increasing his crit by 22% and crit damage by 37%. That's not all. His ultimate gives him a 60% crit rate, 60 bloody percent, and plus his skill, his crit is over 80%. And if his sword link is active, another 60% crit damage buff. What the f**k is this character? He just does so much damage with low investment. How is he a standard 5 star? A solid triple S rank. By Lu, the Natasha with steroids. Literally unlimited heals. She heals when your ally is hit, her skill heals your allies 3 times, her ultimate does AOE heal, and she revives an ally once per battle. She just heals a crazy ton. She just heals a crazy ton. She just heals a crazy ton. If you have her, probably never gonna have low HP ever. A solid double S because she can be used everywhere. Mr. Welt, a very strong debuffer with imaginary element. In my opinion, his technique is f***ing crazy, 100% chance to imprison the enemies, which delay their actions by 20% and speed reduce by 10%. Such an advantage at the start of the battle is really, really strong. Imagine stacking him with a speed buffer or pusher like Asta or Bronya. Yeah, it's your turn forever in a turn-based game. That's really, really insane. His ultimate similarly imprisons enemies, which delays them by 44% and reduce the speed by 10% and deals AOE damage. A very solid double S. Japorit's kit revolves around shielding your entire team with his ultimate that scales off his defense and a 65% base chance to freeze one enemy with his skill. His shield comes from his ultimate, meaning you must properly manage your energy with him. He is also able to revive once a battle after being KO'd. Overall, his shield is very reliable, but with the existence of 5MC and March 7, he is good to have but not a must have A tier for me. Next we have Himiko, a must have if you are a Honkai Impact third player. Her existence plays her in the triple S tier for waifu, but for gameplay, let's take a closer look. Her skill simply does pseudo AoE fire damage, her ultimate deals AoE damage to enemies and gain 10 energy for each enemy defeated. Her core kit lies in her talent, where she gains 1 stack for every enemy weakness break, stacks 3 times and deals AOE fire damage after an ally performs an attack when fully stacked. Himiko is a good AOE damage dealer, not a must have but pull for her if you love her. A tier for me. Lastly we have Clara. Clara acts as the punching bag in your team. Her ultimate provokes the enemies, and her talent grants her 15% reduction in damage. However, Clara herself is not a healer. She is only able to provoke enemies without any ways to heal herself, which might backfire. Unlike Japorit, who has a clear role as a tank and a shielder, Clara is just a tank with counters. Therefore, B tier for me. Sub for more Honkai Star Real videos.